Hello and welcome to this Rapid7 Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Chris Kirsch. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Metasploit. And today I'd like to talk about a slightly different topic. It's uh, actually a third-party open source tool uh, called Kali. Uh, you might know Backtrack. Some of you might know it really well. And today, the good guys from Offensive Security have issued a new version of Backtrack called Kali Linux. So Kali Linux is um, based on Debian. The previous version, Backtrack, was based on Ubuntu. And it's essentially, for those who don't know Backtrack and who don't know Kali yet, it's an open source platform, an operating system, a Linux distribution that comes with a ton of great penetration testing tools, all preloaded and pre-installed. So some examples of that. You know, obviously, Metasploit is on that platform, uh, Aircrack NG for wireless pen testing, Wireshark for network sniffing, Nmap for map, mapping out networks. And so there are about you know, hundreds of tools on that platform, really great um, for penetration testers who don't want to install and keep up to date all the different uh, tools that they need every day. So why the name change? Well, uh, the makers of uh, Backtrack and of Kali Linux thought, hey, they're actually making so much from scratch uh, for this entire project that it really deserves a new name. And that's uh, why uh, they chose the name Kali Linux. Uh, in a nutshell, the new system is going to be more robust and easier to use. It's also going to be easier to update. One of the things that's been a challenge is to, to keep the system updated. And also, when you change from one version of Backtrack to the next, you had to reinstall and so on. And so this system actually makes it more future proof. If you want to, uh, you know, when the next version of Kali Linux comes out, you can just update that platform. You don't have to start over. The UX is a lot more streamlined, a lot more user friendly. Um, so, for example, um, the installation process, if you want to uh, use a persistent platform, which I recommend, especially if you're going to use Metasploit, uh, it's a lot easier. Uh, also, uh, one fun thing is you can fully customize your distribution. So you can choose which tools you want on there and uh, have your own ISO created. Um, it also supports, uh, apart from I386 uh, and AMD64, it also now supports ARM architectures. So for those of you who like the little embedded or mobile devices or the tablets based on ARM, you can now actually run Kali Linux on that. Um, and um, now Kali Linux is officially supported by Rapid7 as a platform. Backtrack, we had Metasploit on Backtrack before. Uh, some users reported some, some issues with things like the database, general stability, uh, updating, and so on. And so we worked together uh, with the guys from uh, Offensive Security to repackage Metasploit uh, from scratch for the Calyx distribution so that uh, you would all have a much better user experience. Um, also, um, for the Metasploit Pro edition, which is preloaded on Kali Linux, um, you, if you are a commercial customer, have full support on that platform. So if you're a penetration tester and you love Backtrack, you're going to love Kali Linux and using Metasploit Pro with full technical support from Rapid7. Um, some people have asked me about the relationship between Kali Linux, Offensive Security, and Rapid7. So I just want to go into that a little bit. Basically, it's one big love fest. There's not a lot of uh, like commercial uh, agreements between us. but. Uh, offensive security are the main guys between, uh, behind uh, Backtrack and Kali Linux. Um, so they're really the, the heart of the project. Um, they came up with this idea. Um, we contacted them um, about you know, making the Metasploit experience better on Backtrack and found out about Kali Linux. And uh, so now Rapid7 has become an official contributor to uh, the project. And uh, we're now uh, very involved with them to make Metasploit better on this platform. So where can you get the new um, Kali Linux? You can get it at kali.org um, uh, and uh, simply download it from there. You can get the different versions for uh, your preferred platform. And that's it for today's Whiteboard Wednesday.